Today, the agricultural aircraft is an important tool assisting in the production of food, fiber, and biofuels, such as corn used in ethanol production, and soybeans for biodiesel. To do this, and still leave room for wildlife, recreation, and other land uses, there must be an increase in agricultural production on the land we are now using. High yield agriculture, which includes the responsible use of crop protection products, also known as crop medicines or pesticides, benefits the environment by producing maximum crop yields from fewer acres. Aerial application is a critical component of high yield agriculture. Agricultural products that aerial applicators assist in producing include fiber products, such as cotton for clothing, forest products for wood and paper. They also assist farmers in producing nutritious fruits, vegetables, grains in the production of corn, soybeans, and other crops used for both food and biofuels. Ag aircraft are also utilized to control overgrown vegetation in areas needed for roads and power lines, prepare forests for new seedlings, maintain pasture land for livestock, and for fighting wildfires that threaten our homes, our grasslands, and our forests. Ag aircraft can be used to apply many different types of products, including seed and fertilizer. They also apply crop protection products, which are used to control weeds, insects, and fungi and harvest aid products such as defoliants and desiccants used in preparing crops for an earlier, higher grade harvest. Some farmers apply their products from the ground using ground equipment, but many have realized that using an ag plane to do this work is often more efficient and effective. Aircraft are not hindered by wet or flooded fields which are the conditions found in rice production, nor are they hindered by heavy canopies covering the rows as may be found in orchards or fields of mature corn and soybeans. An airplane or helicopter can accomplish three times the amount of work in a day than ground equipment or any other form of application. This means less fuel used, less air pollution, no soil compaction, and no crop loss resulting from the potential harm that ground equipment might cause to a crop or the land. This also results in higher yields for the farmer. This saves the farmer money, and it can be better for the environment. All in all, aerial application is one of the most effective means of spraying because it benefits both farmers and consumers. Without the use of crop protection products, there would be an increase in damage caused by insects, weeds, and diseases, which would drastically decrease crop yields per acre, increasing the prices at the grocery store. Without crop protection products, it would be impossible for U.S. farmers to produce today's supply of agricultural goods on the current land available to farm. Now that we've discussed why growers use agricultural aircraft, let's talk about how these aircraft are constructed for their special purpose. First of all, according to the National Agricultural Aviation Association, also known as NAAA, 88% of the aircraft used in the industry are airplanes, also known as fixed-wing aircraft. The other 12% of aircraft used in the industry are helicopters, also known as rotorcraft. Though comparable in size to a small passenger plane, the structure of ag planes is quite different. The payload or cargo area which holds the material to be applied is called the hopper, and it is located directly in front of the cockpit above the wings of the ag plane. The helicopter hopper is located below or behind the cockpit and above the landing skids. Hoppers are usually constructed of fiberglass because it's durable and lightweight. Depending on the size of the plane, the hopper can hold from 120 to 1,000 gallons of liquid material, or from 1,000 to 9,500 pounds of dry material. The safety of the pilot is a primary consideration in aircraft design, so the cockpit has been constructed for extra strength and safety. They also include special, more protective seat belts. Agricultural pilots, also known as ag pilots, wear protective helmets. Most ag planes are called tail draggers because they're built with the tail low to the ground. A tail wheel and a rugged main landing gear forward enables the plane to land on dirt and grass strips, handle the heavy workloads, as well as frequent takeoffs and landings required in agricultural aviation. 
The job of spraying looks easy and fun, but it actually involves skillfully completing many steps to make sure the job is done safely, effectively, and correctly. Because of the heavy takeoff weights combined with the handling characteristics of a tailwheel airplane, an ag plane is a unique aircraft to fly. The complexity and sophistication of aerial application aircraft, combined with the level of skill required to operate these planes and helicopters, make it very difficult to fly them without significant training and hundreds of hours of flying time. Before getting certified to become an ag pilot, an individual must spend many hours in and out of the cockpit learning the intricacies of the job. This training can take place at an ag aviation flight school or through an operator who owns a business and serves as the instructor. Ag pilots are required to have a commercial pilot's license along with a commercial pesticide applicator's license from their state and spend many hours of training before they're qualified to fly agricultural aircraft and apply crop protection products.